So I'm driving downtown right now. Vegas has been like 200 degrees outside every day. Um, and today we have like this random thunderstorm because I guess monsoon season just started. So I'm gonna take advantage of that because I love to shoot on cloudy days, especially if it's gonna be in black and white image because the cloudy sky acts as a natural soft box and it's just awesome. You're not gonna have any harsh shadows. Watch me come down and shoot it. All right, so I just got down here and it's definitely not stormy. I'm just gonna shoot anyway, make the best of it. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm bracketing my photos which means I'm gonna take three different photos of the exact same frame. You absolutely need a tripod for this. That's non-negotiable because the frame cannot move because you're gonna blend these photos together in post-production to make one photo. So first I'm gonna take a correctly exposed photo, as correctly exposed as I can given the environment. Then I'm taking an underexposed photo. So I'm underexposing it so that I can see the details in the sky and other highlights. Then I'm taking an overexposed photo. That way I'm getting all the details in the shadows. Then I'm taking all three of those photos in post-production and I'm blending them together and that makes an HDR image. It stands for high dynamic range and that way I'm getting this high dynamic range of shadows and highlights. So I'm definitely not getting my stormy pictures. It was pretty sunny where I was shooting. I'm pretty happy with what I got. So I may get a little bonus shoot. I saw something kind of interesting looking when I was driving down here. I'm gonna show you right now. It's just like a jacked up hotel sign, but it looks kind of cool. Oh God, there's lots of weird shit out here. So downtown here on East Fremont Street, there's a lot of stuff to photograph, but here is. So I passed this, it was kind of cool. So I think I'm gonna try to get a shot of it. Okay, so I aborted that mission because there's humongous black ants all over the place and I was wearing flip flops. So, fuck that. Since I wasn't able to get my cloudy stormy photo like I wanted, I decided to just go ahead and turn this into a super artistic photo. So I brought this in a Photoshop and I thought I'd play around with making it look like a digital negative. I always duplicate the layer just in case I mess up, I can delete it. And then I went up to image, adjustment, invert, and it creates a really cool digital image. You can mess around with the levels, make the contrast higher, desaturate it to make it black and white, or you can go to the black and white filter and mess around with the levels in there, pump up the contrast. I also go to the image adjustment, the posterize, but I mess with that adjustment layer and then I like to play around with the channel mixer and then I like to really play around with the colors and as you can see the possibilities are endless. And then I would always go in and kind of touch things up or if something's an eyesore, I want to get it out of there. So I'm just going to clone stamp it out. So I ended up loving the way that it looked, just kind of sleek and clean. So I had I had cut out the sky and the foreground and, and I even added some birds in there. And I ended up getting this printed on a 24 by 36 metal print with a black float frame around it and I love it and it's uh, it gives such a cool retro Vegas vibe and it's one of my favorites. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or want some more detail on how I did these. I'll see you on the next one.